beautiful, Corea? Ah, it's beautiful. Wow. Uh, uh, la later, we want to follow and speak about it. Uh, I don't remember okay. <laughs> yet. <laughs> okay. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. All right. <laughs> Interesting conversation. Oh, what <laughs> you, you listen to us? No. Wow. no, no, we we were practicing. I know okay, okay, that's a okay. good idea. <laughs> Amilcar wow. is a good partner to practice. I see. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, Actually, uh, that's really, really nice that you use uh, English to communicate. Oh my God, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, I'm learning yet. I'm still uh, learning, yes, that's I, right. And I need to learn uh, more to, to speak uh, so fluent. <laughs> yeah, sure, we all need, we all need to practice. Okay, that's thank great. you. Thank you, thank you. How are you? How was your day? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Everyone's tired. If I if I told you the truth, you don't <laughs> believe me. Yes, you wouldn't believe me. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, I believe you. I believe you. We all have very tiring days. <clears throat> yes, actually. <laughs> It happens that the week before vacation, people get like really busy, really crazy. And it's just a week of vacation, so I don't understand. <laughs> but it happens, it happens. Okay. Let's see, Miss Vasilia Monterosa, how are you? Fine. <laughs> Excited. Um, a little exciting, but okay. all right, nice. It was good. It was good. It was good. Mr. Juarez, long time no see. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How has it going? Um, I'm fine. Just fine. Working? Pretty busy? Yes. Good. Um, so so. It's a so so. Not that busy. It's really relaxing. A bit relaxing. Oh. That's great. <laughs> what an envy. <laughs> Miss Herrera says. <laughs> okay. All right. Gracinha, right? That's your that's your name. <laughs> I could pronounce it. I feel yes, teacher. awesome. <laughs> How was your day? Yes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Everything good? Oh, pretty easy. Nice. Yes. All right. A little yes. busy. A little busy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, Mr. Archimedes Medina, <laughs> welcome. Good evening, everybody. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Fine. I'm working. Still working. Working a lot of working today. Oh my goodness, Mr. Workaholic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that's great. The good thing is that we're fine. We're here. We're still with energy and we're going to have a great class today. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me get my PowerPoint. Should be here. Uh huh. This is intermediate three, and this is our class number five. I know. Five. I don't remember, did you? <laughs> okay. Yes, it's our class number five. That's right. And we're gonna be having five classes every week, okay? Because we are from Monday to Fridays. Okay, and we're gonna continue after vacation, right? Okay. 
yeah. all the all the weeks uh yeah you're gonna be on vacation have... all week oh, okay. yes from no uh, the yes. all weeks uh, we have classes the... until friday yes yes mm -hmm. oh, okay yeah okay. that's what i was saying this this for vacation because of vacations vacation. yes and the okay. dates mm -hmm. they have okay. to match all right great here we uh, go and when when we are start again the next let me see the next week is vacation from 11 to 15 right so we start again the 18th mm -hmm. the 18th of april yes that's right okay all right no problem so welcome to our class today you're going to be able to describe different talents children prodigies have <laughs> so this is a reading talking about child prodigies okay i think you have this this reading child prodigies means uh really talented kids right so do you know any of these child prodigies? These are two of them and the other one is on the next. Oh, sorry. So two of them. Yeah, we're going to read about Sarah Shan and Michael Kearney. Yes. Okay. Child prodigies, really talented kids. All right. Sarah Shan is described by other musicians as the most wonderful, perfect violinist they ever heard what makes this praise especially surprising is sarah's age she's only a teenager and people have been describing her this way for years oh sarah's fourth birthday her father gave her a violin by age five she was accepted at the famous Juilliard school of music in new york city by age, she was performing as a violin soloist with major orchestra. Since then, Sara has performed around the world. She has also recorded many albums. Definitely, she got a talent for music, right? And the next child, before Michael Kearney was born, the doctors warned his parents that he might have learning difficulties. He's been proving them wrong ever since. By the time he was four months old, Michael could say full sentences like what's for dinner, mom. By 10 months, he could read words. Studying at home with his parents, Michael completed fourth grade level each year. At five, he entered high school and finished in one year. By 10, he graduated from college with honors. At 11, he went to graduate school. Wow, this is really impressive. This prodigies, okay? <laughs> so this is a reading, okay? We're just gonna have this reading. We're gonna read to our partners. We're gonna be in pairs. One person is gonna read about Sarah Shan and the other one is gonna read about Michael Kearney. And then you're going to talk about what impressed you the most about these two children's prodigies okay okay questions before we start working in pairs any yes. any new word any new expression that you don't know you can take notes so as soon as we come back and we start sharing what we understood what we have learned about these two kids then you can ask or we can socialize and we can interact okay uh, another word to call these people, I mean, especially kids, is gifted because they have a gift from God, you know, super smart, super talented. Mm -hmm. And definitely we have cases very similar, probably not as that good in, in El Salvador, but we do have actually there are associations for talented kids or foundations that they um, support because these kids uh, sometimes are not accepted in normal school because they don't they don't act, they don't perform the same way the other kids do. So they are more talented, they learn faster, they learn a different way, they need other type of education. So there exist some associations that 
support this type of talented kids and sometimes they're considered genius so let me get the breakout rooms i'm gonna make well let's make five so automatically you'll be working in groups of three and one group of two all right here you go all right all right discutir el, sobre las lecturas. Uh -huh. um, I, I read this one. Yes. Okay. Um, Sara Chan is described by the other musicians and the other, the, as the most wonderful, perfect violins they ever heard. What makes this praise especially in is Sarah's age. She's only a teenager and people have been describing her this way for years. On Sarah's fourth birthday, her father gave her a violin by age five, she was accepted at the famous Juilliard School of Music in New York City. By age, she was performing as a violin solist with major orchestras. Since then, Sarah has performed around the world. She has also recorded many albums. Okay. In the second. The second, Virginia, can you read? Okay. Uh, before Michael Kearney was born, the doctors warned his parents that he might have learning difficulties. He's been pro proving them wrong ever since. By the time he was four months old, Michael could say full sentence like, what's for dinner, mom? By 10 months, he could read words. Studying at home with his parents, Michael completed four grade levels each year. At five, he entered high school and finished in one year. By 10, he graduated from college with honors. At 11, he gave her a violin by age five. She was started at the famous Ju Juilliard School of Music in New York City. But eight, she was performing as a violin soloist with major orchestras. Since then, Sarah has formed around the world. She has also recorded many albums. Okay, I'm going to read the next. Uh, before you say Michael Kearney was born, the Dr. Warner, I don't know. I don't know, Elizabeth, you start before my Michael. You read. Read, please. Elizabeth or, or, or I. Okay. You. Before okay. Mitchell Kinier, no sé cómo se pronunciará, was born the Dr. Warnett. Uh, his parents that he may have learning difficult. He's been 
than war ever since. By the time he was four months old. Um, continue on another corner. Continue me? I don't know. Yes. Continue. Okay. Uh, Mitchell uh, Cole say full sentences like what for dinner? No, what for dinner, mom? By 10 months, he call read words. Uh, continue me. Sarah Wonderful. Especially, especially, the breathing. How is it to breathing? Where? In the third part, in the third line, especially for breathing is first one or second one. What? And the first one, part of, or the second one? Uh, uh, first part. The first and the third This is right, especially. Price, especially. Price. 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 The Price. The Price. What made this price especially for crazy? No, I don't know, but okay, I'm looking on. for that word. I think these 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 people, these ch children, but in the University of Salvador, we have a, a talent in mathematics. Uh, I think not only mathematics, uh, also in chemistry, biology, uh, physics. For, for my books and um, see other signs <laughs> not only math because I know a partner that she had well she had a, a, a boy that is very intelligent and he uh, he was at the competition international international yeah. competition yes but uh, and he he won very very yeah, very award very, yes very times very much yes. times ah yeah uh, but but in the pandemia uh, they are uh, playing or not playing, they are in the competition in eh, well, online. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But in Salvador, we don't have a young, uh, uh, how do you say, many, many younger, <laughs> younger uh, talent. Ah, many younger. Like prodigious children in this Maybe in this we don't know. Maybe we don't know, but I think finish. Yes, we finish. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Interesting. Uh-huh. New expressions or new words? Okay. 
Vamos a ver. Let's see, let's see. Teacher, yes. try, try especially surprising. Surprising, yes, yeah, surprising. Uh, more bright, right? What more makes bright. this phrase especially surprising? It says each. Mm -hmm. It's very, sur I mean, it's a big surprise, so that is surprising. The biggest surprise is her age, that she's very young, she's a teenager. Mm -hmm. Something else? Teenager? What do you mean? A teenager mean? is a young person that is in her or his things, 13, 14, 15. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's why it's a teenager. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right. Something else? No. No? Great. So what surprised you about these two child prodigies? Anything? <laughs> Mike, Michael, Michael for, Kearney. Uh -huh. yes. yes, interesting for me um, when the, she was four months old, uh, she say, or she can say full sentences, for Imagine example. Imagine four months, just yes. a baby. Yes, and he was able to say a full sentence. Sometimes children get to the age of four, five, six years, and they cannot even say a complete sentence. They speak with single words, isolated words. Yes, may, maybe because they don't have this intelligence, let's say this linguistic intelligence, right? Or they haven't developed yet the linguistic part, but at four months, he was very, very young. Yes. That's right. Anything else? The doctor. <laughs> Have you seen any of these cases, doctor? Um, oh, well, both cases are very amazing for me. Yes. And um, like a case of Michael Kearney, I have, uh, I, I know a case and the, the baby was born uh, with a weight of 600 gram, grams. Grams, 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 six hundred. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, she that is, was born. That is too much or too little. Uh, really too little. Too little, right? Because because the 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 average mm -hmm. to to two thousand birth is uh, science. 2,500 mm -hmm. to uh, more. Mm. more. Wow, that was very little. And and she, uh, in this moment, was graduated to the University of El Salvador wow. of uh, um, technical in radiology. Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. And she she don't she didn't have any any disabilities. Any, any disabilities. Nice. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. that's impressive. Yes, I know a case. Yes. Actually, they were my students. They are twins. Identical. Identical twins. They were boys. And they have difficulties because they were twins. So the mom had to give birth. I'm not quite, they told me the story, but I'm not quite sure, like minutes difference. 
and they were like really smart, like really, really smart since they were little kids. The, they graduated with honors from the Escuela Superior de Negocios oh. like two years wow. ago. Yes, <laughs> and, they, and they are just very young boys, very young. And one of them was the top five one of the one of the years, like four or five years ago. And he got an, an award with cash for his school because he came from a from a public school. Oh, so that was like really, really smart. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So we have talent. We have talent. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. thing is that sometimes it's not like really used for positive things, right? But we do have talent. All right. Well, I know another association that supports kids with this special talent, and they call it Altas Capacidades, I think. That's how they call it in Spanish. So, I, capacity. Mm -hmm, like, <laughs> yes, that's, I yeah, they, ha they have the name in Spanish because the association is here in El Salvador, right? And they, they give support in education to the kids that are not accepted or cannot perform well in public schools or in, in other schools because they have different talents and they study and they learn in a different way. And I know these kids are really smart for um, robots, robotics, and so they can oh. program and they can use computer software very easily without having a teacher. You know, they just figure it out by themselves. They just learn by themselves. So they just discover, they like to discover things. So there's this, this association also from a friend of mine. So, and the programs that you were mentioning also from the University of El Salvador. They have like different, different programs for talented kids as well. Wow, that was really interesting. <laughs> Anything else sir, that you would like to add? Yes, sir, tell us. Sir, uh, it's uh, very important, the work, the work parents. The word parent for, That's right. for your child. Exactly. The motivation, the encouragement, the empower that parents give to their children. It is really, support, re really uh -huh. support. Yes, really relevant because if you tell a kid that they can do whatever they want, that they can learn whatever they want, of course, they have the mindset. They say, I, I am able to, I can do it. But if parents don't really pay attention, don't really tell the kids that they are capable, that they are, have abilities, so it is a, it is a sad story sometimes. <laughs> yes, that's, that's okay. really, really amazing that you just pointed out. All right. Great. Okay, this was just an introduction for reading. And now we're going to switch a little bit, okay? And we're going to talk about <clears throat> movies. I know this is an interesting topic for anybody who's learning English. They love talking about movies. We're not going to do it exactly about movies, but we're going to be having this conversation first. So let's have Miss Carla Enriquez and Mr. I have Mr. Amilcar Escobar who likes to practice. Are you ready? <laughs> Mr. Okay. Amilcar, you want to be Roger? Hey, Miss Carla, you want to be Carol. Ready? Okay. All yeah. right. Uh, One, two, have... three, go. You have to start, Mr. Milker. Okay. Do I have to read? Yes. Okay. Uh, only the first part. Yes, just the part of Roger. Hey, Miss okay, Carla is going to okay. be Carol. One, two, three, action. Okay. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Mm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond films? I hear it. It's really exciting. Actually, he last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Harry Berry movie. It looks good. 
Mm. That's fine for me. She's a wonderful actress. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Okay, some more volunteers. Yo, teacher. All right. Yeah, party. <laughs> All right. Okay. Me, teacher. All right. Let's see. Yeah, Roger. I like and... Carol. Oh, you want to be Roger? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm a Carol. All right. Perfect. Why not? <laughs> Go. Oh. Who is Carol? In this me, case, you are going to be Roger you. and the man is going to be Carol. <laughs> okay. Go. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Um, maybe what's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I heard it. it's really exciting. Actually, last one was boring. What about the movie, Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Holly Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Awesome. Good job. Okay. Any new word, any new expression you. that you want to practice? Mm -hmm. Yes, somebody? Do you want to see a movie tonight? Mm, maybe. What's playing? What's playing is usually used for what is in the movie theater, what is in the cinema right now, right? What is playing, by the way? What's playing now? Spider-Man? No idea? Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> oh, it was Batman, Batman. not Spider-Man. <laughs> That's it. No, no idea. <laughs> No idea. I haven't gone to the movies in a long time. <laughs> Me neither. Oof, I think the last time I went to the movies was before the pandemic. Yeah, How about the new James Bond film? I heard it's really exciting. I heard it's somebody told me, people say, right? I hear, I understand. It's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry's movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. All right, let me just grab something from right here. Okay, and the first thing I want you to take a look at it, it's really exciting exciting actually the last the last one was boring <laughs> what about the movie based on stephen king's new novel i don't know his books are usually fascinating fascinating i don't like horror movies well what do you want to see um interest interest the interest that we're going to put it in this one. Let me see. I'm interested. In the new Halle Berry's movie, it looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay. So exciting, boring, fascinating. They are describing something, right? For example, I say, how about the new James Bond film? I heard it's really exciting. Exciting. So exciting is describing what? The movie. The Emocionante. Movie. Exactly. It's uh -huh. describing the movie. It's describing the new James Bond film, right? Mm -hmm. so. And then the last one, the last movie of James Bond was? Was boring. 
was boring. <laughs> was boring. Okay. I don't know. Mm, no yes, idea. I don't know. But then they suggest, yes, a Stephen Skin's new novel, right? So I don't know. His books are usually, books are usually fascinating. 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 So exciting, fascinating are positive and boring is negative, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I don't like horror movies. But I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I am. Interesting. I'm interested. Interesting. interesting. Okay. If a movie is interesting, I am interested. interested in seeing the movie. You say, oh, that book is interesting. So I'm interested in reading the book. Oh, right? So this is how we introduced the use of ing. And ED, ING is present participle, and ED is past participle, okay? I'm going okay. to make, yes, I'm going to make another drawing, because sometimes, yes, ING, we say is present participle. Present participle. Yes. Past participle. And ED, past participle, exactly. When the adjective is in present participle it describes something when the adjective is in past participle it describes a feeling you say oh this uh, topic is frustrating i feel frustrating exactly you say oh this class is exciting i feel excited excited that's right. like cause and effect mm -hmm. cause and effect right so we're going to move. Let me just move on to the next page. Okay, let, let me let me understand. Yes. Uh, ING, what is it? Past participle is ED. That's correct. Exactly, exactly. ING uh -huh. is present participle and ED is past participle. When the word ends in ING is a characteristic of something. For okay. example, you say, oh, this activity is boring. So I feel bored. bored. What is the effect <laughs> on me? What is the feeling caused in me or in a person? Not necessarily me, of course. Right? Okay. Thank you. Okay, perfect. All right. Somebody else? No? It's clear. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, perfect. <laughs> Let's move on. Don't worry. It's okay. Here there are some other examples. Present participle, past participle. The new Johnny Depp movie sounds interesting. interesting. The movie sounds interesting, right? So I am interested in the new Johnny oh, Depp movie. I'm interested yes? in the new Johnny Depp movie. Exactly, when you say, oh, it's because English is interesting. So I am interested in learning English. Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. the movie Jurassic Park was? Boring. boring. <laughs> so I was bored by Jurassic Park. I was bored. I never saw it. <laughs> I never saw it completely because I was bored. <laughs> uh -uh. There's another movie that people find very fascinating. That is The Lord of the Ring. But I was not fascinated by that movie. It's Star Wars. <laughs> it's Star Wars. People <laughs> think it is really exciting. Or the Harry Potter saga. And I'm mm. like, oh, no, I don't really find it. <laughs> I get bored. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not interested. <laughs> okay. So that book was fascinating. I was fascinated by the book. It happened to me with this book from oh, El Gabo, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. So I read the books of Love in Times of Cholera and I saw the movie. But the book, mm -hmm. it's a lot better than the yeah. movie, of course, because the movie is very short. So yeah. it can be, you know, like, so extensive, but the book was really fascinating. So I was fascinated by the War book. and Peace. Yes. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. So here we have some sentences and you have the verb in parentheses. The verb doesn't have ing or ed. You have to decide if the verb needs ing 
or ed. For example, the first one, Denzel Washington is a very interested or a very interesting actor. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. exactly. So this is what we're going to work on. I'm going to share it with you. So you work in the same groups and interact, okay? Share your answers. Ah, yeah. So, are you ready? Hello? Are you ready? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Are you ready? Hi. Good afternoon. Hello? Yes. I'm good. Yeah. Fascinated. Okay. The Elizabeth point? number three. No. No interesting in oh. our movies. I'm in interest. Interest in ah, the past. Okay. Interest. Uh -huh. okay. I'm not interest in our movie, yes. Okay. Yes. Amilcar number four. Number three. Oh, four. four. Yes. I'm I'm with what's in the late or oh, I'm for I'm what is the best policy for war? Is Borrett? Borrett. 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 Okay. Okay, five. I love bad. And the four, and Hello. no puede ser borrowed porque está utilizando el I am en el presente. Y para utilizar el past participle tendría que estar utilizando el was or where. And but in the past participle, in the example, in the first example, I am interested um, in the hard. new show. I am. Number three. Number three. And I'm not. I'm, I'm not, not interesting. Uh -huh. I'm not in interesting horror. in horror movies. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. And uh, okay. number what? In this case, we. Have uh, the use we use the the verb in in past participle or verb in past with with the was after no before the the verb. What is that? The the number number four. Creo que en los ejemplos dice The book was fascinating Entonces acá hay en, en, las otras, en las oraciones A completar Ahí creería, no sé si tenemos que utilizar Siempre el was antes del verbo Ah Ajá ah, Really It can be in the past or it can be in present Was or is For example, ah, okay. the movie is The book is fascinating Yes, interesting, exciting. Ah. It depends if you're talking in the past or if you're talking in present. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. In that case, and uh, oh my god, get confused. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I have problem with my phone. Oh Jesus! It's it's very it's very full, and the application. 
it, it doesn't function very well right now. Okay. Um, Denzel Washington is a very, Denzel Washington is a very. Okay. ¿Cómo vamos a preguntar? I asked the teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, Tell uh, me. Teacher, uh, what is the meaning Western? Western. Yes. Mm -hmm. Western movies, Western music. No. Westerns. Uh, with in, S, in the last these second. days. In the last sentence. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Western, yes, it refers to that. Western, de una vez se toma como cosas del, del viejo este. Ah, del viejo oh. este. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, ah. yes, movies or, or music. Westerns, in this case, are talking about movies. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, entonces sería... It's referred to the movies. It's... Uh, the sentence. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So that they don't make many Western this day. Surprising. Mm -hmm. Surprising. Number four. Number four. Born. I am born with what simple? Final ED. Television. I love. Number five is I love. Fascinating. I'm fascinated with ED. Yes. Okay. And the number eight. Surprising. It's surprising. Surprising. It's surprising. ING. Final ING. I think I think that it is ING. I don't know why. <laughs> it's it's surprising they don't make many Westerns they these days. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. <laughs> Did you finish? Were you able to finish? Almost. Teacher confused uh, when number eight. Mm -hmm. uh, I now understand westerns. Westerns, that type of movie from cowboys from the West. California. <laughs> In the cowboys. Yes, oh, we're going to see this. Yes, películas del oeste. Ah, uh, those are westerns. Let's see. Let's compare our answers. No problem. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. How come? Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Denzel Washington is a very... You say interested, interesting. I know interesting. Yes, interesting. it's a very interesting actor. Yes, I find I find nature films fascinating. 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 Yes, I oh, find. Okay. Yes, I find nature films. I find natural. Yes, as I think, I consider, right? 
this type of film about the nature in Africa, they are fascinating. Yes, I'm not. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. <gasps> I'm not interested in horror movies. I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. Yes, I'm bored. No, no, nunca digan I'm boring, porque si ustedes dicen I'm boring, usted es una persona aburrida. Sí. Uh -huh. Ajá. Puede ser, pero no. Usted dice, ah, oh, that person is boring. So I'm bored when I'm with that person. I'm not boring. I'm not boring. I'm bored. Maybe I get bored. Yes. Okay. I love Winana's writer's latest movies. I was... I was, I was amazed. 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 I was amazed. Sorry, my bad. Amazed. I was amazed, amazed that it didn't do better. Mm -hmm. It didn't do better. It means that it didn't get any Oscar. It didn't get any awards, right? So mm -hmm. I thought Jurassic Park was. Exciting. Exciting. An exciting, exciting. an exciting book, right? I am. I am fascinated. I am fascinated. fascinated. I am fascinated by Michael Christen's novels, right? It's surprising. 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 <laughs> it is surprising that they don't make any westerns this day. So I am surprised that they don't make any western these days, right? It is something, a situation, surprising. right? It is surprising that they don't make any westerns these days. All right, questions? No questions? No questions, no answers? No. I don't understand the last the last sentences the last sentences yes. it is it's something right so it is surprising that they don't make this type of movies anymore so i am surprised by that yeah no no that translated the translation yeah que es sorprendente que ya no hagan este tipo de películas del oeste ya no las hacen de hecho verdad no. No. Desde, ¿cómo que se llamaba la última? La última serie que salía en la tele. Bonanza. Bonanza. <ríe> El gran chaparral. Exactly. Doctor Queen. <ríe> Long time ago. Long time ago. Exactly. Lo que pasa es que ya no creen en, en vaqueros y todo eso. La gente. <ríe> ya no somos tan inocentes. All right. <laughs> These new generations ni siquiera saben. Bye. No. I am bored, not boring. Adjectives ending in ed describe a particular feeling. Puede ser una emotion, cómo se está sintiendo. Y adjectives ending in ing describe a person or a thing that causes a particular feeling. Puede ser una persona, pero más que todo describe cosas, situaciones, ¿ya? Yeah? If something is boring, I am bored. If something is fascinating, I am fascinated. fascinated. If something is exciting, I am excited. Yes? Mm -hmm. So, yes, entonces, yes. eso es como la causa y ese es el efecto. Lo que causa en usted. El, el feeling que causa en las personas. Puede ser en presente o en pasado. O sea, aquí solo estamos diciendo de que el adjetivo se forma del presente participio, del pasado participio de un verbo pero sigue siendo un adjetivo, ¿ya? Puede ser un adjetivo que termine en ed o un adjetivo que termine en ing. Si es un adjetivo que termine en ing, va a describir algo, una situación. Y si es un adjetivo que termine en ed, va a describir cómo hace sentir a alguien, un feeling. Es Por fin nos habló en español. <risa> 
sometimes <laughs> when we describe this in English, it's like, oh, too difficult. But when you get like small translations, ah, that's what it is. Yes. Okay. <laughs> And we have some sentences. Okay. Se las voy a dejar en well, el WhatsApp de homework y mañana las comparamos. Yes? Okay. All right. Okay. Para no hacerlos tardar más. Okay, so let me put it Thank in you. the... Yes, have a good night. Enjoy, actually. <laughs> And I see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be Wednesday. Then we have three more classes. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then we go on vacation. Do you have the swimsuit already? <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes, <laughs> I am ready to go on vacation. Okay, have a good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.